welcome. Today we're here to talk about the Keystrike K4 scalping screen, also known as a drink feed screen. The drink feed screen was first designed by Keystrike, and so today we're going to talk about a lot of the features around this machine and how it's progressed from 20 years ago to now. So we've got here is the center of intelligence, the PLC controller here. This is dust proof and vibration proof. So from the controller, we run everything. So whether we're going to be um, doing the hydraulics on the machine setup or the operation of the plant. So we've got two sectors here. We can either run it individually, so the side belts individually or the feeder. Otherwise, we just go auto start and it actually starts the machine up in sequence. So alongside with the intelligence here, we've also got the handheld remote. Quite a unique feature to the handheld remotes on the keys tracks. It's got the auto start and auto stop functions, along with your feeder stop and start, your feeder speed adjustable, and also you can actually track the machine while in operation. This is really unique to keys track because they're running the load sense hydraulic pumps in them. The great features on that is safety, so the excavator operator can stay on the stockpile bring the machine towards them without having to hop out and change over the, to auxiliaries function and then hop back to the machine again. So less movements is quite critical and also machine uptime so we can continue processing material without having to stop the plant. Now move on to the donkey part of the machine. So we're running a CAT C 4.4 in this model. I mentioned earlier about the, the pump system. On, on the keys track we've got the load tent pump so it's a it's a piston pump rather than the geared pump. The advantage of this system, it actually lowers your fuel efficiency by about 25%. So in other competitors' machines, to adjust your belt speeds, you're actually running through a flow restrictor, whereas this is going through load sense valves. What that means is the, the energy's taken to the where the resource is required. So if we're gonna go and track the machine, it obviously needs more flow to the tracks rather than to the actual operation of the plant. So that's the intelligence sending energy towards that source. Through here we've got the diesel team. Keystrack run a stainless steel diesel team. Mainly the point of that is for cleaning as a material, no corrosion inside the tank. And also if it came to a point where you're running biofuels. Around the engine department, access the engine's always been a bit of an issue with uh, these scalping screens. The Keystrack quite uniquely have got a lot of access. So the back door here, open her up and we've got access to our filters, our batteries, our dipstick. So right there making it easy for our mechanics and draining our oil via a tap. So here we've got a control valve. We can actually run the plant off as well if we've got any problems we're trying to diagnose any issues. Then our access to our fuel and hydraulic tank. So once again everything's out there in the open and easy for us to get to. So with the keys tracks, all the framework and all the steel work and the hopper you see here, that's all made out of Domic steel. So the advantage of Domic steel it actually reduces your transport loads but it eats your strength for the whole machine. So in the hopper we run a 7 cube hopper as standard. And in the rear wall here, pretty hard to see it, but it actually drops this, this tool here for transport. And we can actually split the back wall and pinch it again. So if we're Direct feeding a door crush or an impact into this plant keeps the volume there, but also means that we don't have to stick the two machines. So we're now sitting inside the apron feeder. The apron feeder is unique to Keystrack, just with the system being sealed and through the joints between each cleat. What's so important about that is when it's coming over this tipping point here, it's actually not opening up the aprons and letting the material feed inside. You might say, well, why not go for a belt on these? Well, the, the unique, with this system, we can take an 800 millimeter rock, whereas a belt cannot take that. And in actual fact, these will last the life of the machine, whereas a belt, you could go through three, four, or five sets of belts. So the investment cost of an apron feeder pays itself off. So we're now sitting at the bottom of the screen box. This area is quite important because this, is, this sphere gets a lot of impact from the big rocks. So we mentioned about 800 millimeter rocks coming over here. What a lot of companies have or brands of machines is impact pads sitting under the conveyor belt here. 
they're designed to take a, a bit of a shock off the belt and saving the belt. Key shake have gone one step further. So on the K4 here, we've actually got another mat under here with big springs to take that tension. So when the rock enters this, this, this sector, it actually hits in this area and that absorbs the shock of the rock and the impact and then flows on further up to impact bands up the conveyor. Essentially what this gives the end user is longer life out in conveyor belts, therefore giving it more machine at the top. Here's going to run a couple of clear scrapers on the belts, so there's one at the top here. So we're getting this footage of material that comes along here, hits this, and diverts off to the side. We also have one right at the bottom, just in front of that tail drill. Through here, we've got our fold assembly on the wing plates. So it's quite an awesome engineering feat design here. So just to set up nice and easy, flip it in, and then that keeps that material within the bay of the conveyor. On the right hand side conveyor, we've got nice and easy access. So we just fold our pin down and open up the rear door. So in the event of a blockage or a stall of a belt, we've got excellent access. So if you're into shoveling, this is nice and easy to get to. Also, a feature on this is you can actually reverse this belt and swap it around so we've got two side belts coming off the one side. So, once again, we've got ease of access. Now, set the machine up in a screen change mode or maintenance mode so we can access anything on the other side of the bay and then follow through here to change our meshes. But mainly, you could actually come in through right hand side belt, you can see our screen adjusters. So on the Keystroke K4, we're actually running the load sense hydraulic pump system. The advantage of this is we actually give you a fuel saving cost of about five and a half thousand litres of fuel per year. So the other point of it is it means our hydraulic reservoir doesn't need to be so large. So that's because our cooling system through our hydraulic steel lines through the plant dissipates the heat a lot better than the hydraulic hoses.